Welcome to the Northeast Kingdom Tourism Ambassador Program. This video has been designed to familiarize you with the many lakes and waterways that can be found in Vermont's Northeast Kingdom. Vermont's Northeast Kingdom boasts more lakes and waterways than any other part of the state. In fact, the region has 40,000 acres of lakes, ponds, and 50 public boat launch sites. For folks who enjoy fishing, boating, paddling, or just enjoying a lazy day by the water, the options abound, whether they prefer exploring on their own or with a guide. In this chapter, we'll focus on boat rentals and paddling tours. Located in West Charleston is Clyde River Recreation. This popular attraction offers kayak, canoe, small boat rentals, and all-inclusive river paddles on the Clyde River. They're open daily during the summer months. The three-hour Lazy River trip is the most popular offering at Clyde River Recreation. Kayaks, canoes, and life jackets are available directly on site, and guests simply park their car and are shuttled upstream along with the boats. Guests can then paddle back at their leisure to their vehicle. At Clyde River, group tours are available, reservations are suggested, well-behaved pets are welcome, and it's a great experience for even inexperienced paddlers. Located in Montgomery, Vermont is Montgomery Adventures. Located just a few miles from J.P. Resort, Montgomery Adventures offers year-round adventures from dog sled tours in the winter to canoe and kayak rentals in the summer, as well as guided tours. They're open daily, but reservations are suggested. Montgomery Adventures is located near the Missisquoi River and along the Northern Forest Canoe Trail, so it's easy to just rent a canoe or kayak and head out. Kayak and canoe rentals are available for pickup or delivery, and primitive campsite rentals are available as well. Montgomery Adventures is a great experience for a family, a group trip, or just a couple wanting to get away. Guided tours are also available and include fishing tours and wildlife viewing tours. Montgomery Adventures takes guests to the best spots and handles all of the transportation of boats and gear. Guests can even book a tour that includes lunch or a barbecue picnic. The Craftsbury Outdoor Center is located on Hawksmoor Lake in Craftsbury, Vermont. It is well known as a training camp for athletes including Olympic Nordic skiers, runners, and scholars. On-site lodging is available, which includes meals. The Crossberry Outdoor Center is open year-round, and reservations are needed for camps or lodging. Canoe and kayak rentals are available to lodging guests only. Sculling camps are available throughout the summer. Week-long and weekend camps are offered. There's also a variety of camps available that include yoga and sculling and foliage and sculling camps. These trips book early, so it's best to reserve well in advance. The Northwoods Stewardship Center is located in East Charleston. Northwoods is a nonprofit educational research and conservation service organization serving the communities of northern Vermont and New Hampshire since 1989. They offer a variety of programs all year round, including guiding, canoeing, and paddling events throughout the summer. It's best to check their events calendar for summer activities, including full moon paddles and overnight canoe trips. For those who prefer to venture out on their own, a selection of self-guided paddling tours is available on TravelTheKingdom.com. The Northeast Kingdom Waterways Guide is also available for download on that site. To follow is a summary of some of the most popular Northeast Kingdom lakes and waterways that you could visit. In this chapter, we'll focus on the lakes and waterways of Vermont's Northeast Kingdom. The Northern Forest Canoe Trail links the waterways of New York, Vermont, Quebec, New Hampshire, and Maine. Part of the canoe trail is in the Northeast Kingdom. This section crosses Lake Memphremagog beginning in Quebec and follows the Clyde and Mulhegan Rivers to the Connecticut River. The Clyde River wetlands support rare natural communities where paddlers might catch glimpses of northern harriers among the sedge and bog willow. 
Vermont's most wild river, the Nelhegan River, drops through a basin of thick forests and boreal wetlands, home to Vermont's largest population of moose and largest deer yard, and protected through the Nelhegan Basin Division of the Silvio Ocante National Fish and Wildlife Refuge. The Northern Forest Canoe Trail offers maps, books, and web-based tools to help guests connect to the 740-mile paddling route that traces a fascinating history from early Native American through European settlers. The route's variety of flat water, swift water, and white water on a range of rivers, streams, lakes, and ponds provides extensive opportunities for canoe and kayak recreation. Lake Memphremagog is a 30-mile long lake that crosses the border into Canada. The majority of the Vermont side of the lake is in Newport. The lake is popular among boaters, anglers, and paddlers alike. There's a public beach and campground located at Prouty Beach. The scenery while boating along the lake includes Vermont and Canadian mountain ranges. Along the shores, you'll find great restaurants, lodging, and shopping. A popular summer event along the lake is Kingdom Aquafest in Newport, which is a multi-day event generally hosted in early July, featuring a parade, regatta, lobster fest, and the Kingdom Swim. This well-known race attracts competitive swimmers from as far away as India. Race distances range from one quarter mile to ten miles. Crystal Lake is approximately three miles long and about one mile in width. It's located in Barton. In some places, it is known to be more than 100 feet deep. It is a glacial lake beautifully situated among rough-hewn mountain sides. The beach area has almost a mile of sandy shoreline with a marked swimming area. Crystal Lake State Park offers approximately 40 freestanding charcoal grills, nearly 80 picnic tables, play areas, rental boats and canoes, and lots of parking space for guests. Hopeful anglers will find no shortage of fish in Crystal Lake as well. Nestled between Mount Pisgah and Mount Hoare is Lake Willoughby, which is considered by many to be the most beautiful lake in Vermont. It's reminiscent of a Norwegian fjord and is often referred to as the Lucerne of America. At a depth of 312 feet, Lake Willoughby is a favorite of divers and also offers public beaches at the north and south ends with restrooms, excellent boating, and fishing. Along the shore, there are many cabin rentals and an inn available for lodging. Island Pond is named after the 20-acre island in the middle of the lake. Island Pond was the first international railroad junction in America, a stop that helped connect Portland, Maine, and Montreal. The village once boasted 13 railroad tracks, and it was alive with lumberjacks and railroad workers. These days, the lake draws outdoor enthusiasts who come for the excellent fishing, swimming, paddling, and lazy days at the beach. Harvey's Lake is located in West Barnett, and it's a spectacular hideaway known to be a fisherman's paradise, hosting over 350 surface acres with crystal clear depths exceeding 145 feet. There's nearly a quarter mile of sandy beach with a marked swimming area, picnic tables, bathhouse, and vending machine refreshments. A young summer camper even got his aquatic feet wet here many years ago, none other than Jacques Cousteau. Seymour Lake is located in Morgan, Vermont. This lake is a favorite of fishermen and offers excellent trout and landlocked salmon fishing. There's a public beach with free parking at the north end of the lake and a public boat launch. Located in the quiet village of Greensboro, Caspian Lake offers crystal clear water for fishing, boating, swimming, and beach going. The lake doubles as a natural band shell. The strings and woodwinds of classical musical concerts can be heard playing over Caspian's waters every Sunday evening in the summer. In a tradition that was started six decades ago, visitors to Caspian enjoy the recorded concerts from their boats, docks, and porches. The Greensboro Blues Jam is a popular series of blues concerts held at the Caspian Lake Grange every second Saturday during the summer. Maidstone State Park and Maidstone Lake 
are the most remote of Vermont state parks and still retain much of the wilderness character associated with the Northeast Kingdom. Maidstone Lake was created when glacial ice carved out a deep basin in a pre-existing valley. The lake offers good trout and salmon fishing and has had some outstanding record catches. Maidstone Lake is one of the few lakes in Vermont where loons have reared their young in recent years. The loons love the solitude of the northern lakes whose shores are rimmed with spruce fir shade. Little Averill Lake and Natural Area are located in Averill, Vermont. Managed by the Vermont Nature Conservancy, the lake is a perfect place for a remote paddling trip. Little Averill Lake is set in the most remote corner of the Northeast Kingdom. There are a few camps on this 438-acre pond, and the forest is managed for timber production. Still, the pond, which sits at a relatively high elevation of 1,800 feet, feels like a part of a larger, wilder landscape, and it is. The Conservancy's property on Little Averill Lake includes a documented nesting site for the common loon, and the Vermont Institute of Natural Science monitors their breeding patterns on the lake. Peregrine falcons nest on nearby Brosu Mountain, and moose are abundant in the area. The Long Pond Natural Area is located in Greensboro, Vermont. The Vermont Nature Conservancy manages 1,500 feet of shoreline around this 99-acre, remote, undeveloped pond, surrounded by softwood and northern hardwood forest. It is a peaceful spot for a canoe ride, with much wildlife to view along the shore. A few of the birds documented here include the common loon, flycatcher, great blue heron, mallard and black duck, red-tailed hawk, bald eagle, osprey, American kestrel, pileated woodpecker, the hermit thrush, purple finch, and the black-throated green warbler. Mammals like the mink, snowshoe hare, red-backed bull, long-tailed weasel, the river otter, bobcat, Porcupine and moose also find their way to Long Pond. We invite you to visit the regional tourism website TravelTheKingdom.com to learn more and to download the Northeast Kingdom Waterways Guide.